Okay, let's look at the effects page. We have already seen how uh, each program can have its own effect, actually how each layer can have its own effect, how each uh, layer or program can have its own aux send. So we have inserts and auxes, and we know how they're allocated because we talked about that too. If I press the effects mode button, uh, this is where, we, we, we've already seen, this is where you can actually see the status of each uh, inserts uh, channel, and we've talked about that. The aux, uh, the selection of whatever reverb is on the aux uh, 1 and 2 bus is going to be determined, one, by whatever program is, is the current channel on your program mode, and also by the lowest number channel. Uh, you might have a situation where you're playing multi timbrely and you want to specifically say what you want to have on this aux bus, and it might not be whatever the, the automated allocation algorithm is giving you. And so what we want to do is override this. And so I'm going to show you the pages of the effects uh, enable uh, the, of the effects page. And uh, you can see this is the channel effects, and if I uh, it's showing me the status of everything here. But if I want to override one of my aux bus, I'll go to the aux effects one page. And here's a page for the en entire state of the machine here where I can override uh, the, the, the aux one selection so that I can say specifically, no matter what you were going to do in, in an automated sense, I want this particular reverb to be on the aux bus right now for the whole machine. And, the, and as we know, each channel or layer can, uh, shares a send, actually uh, uh, shares a send to the uh, aux bus. And so I'm playing my drums here. Say I, may, I might have many channels going, and I want my aux uh, one the ch uh, there's a it's a called medium drum room. This is what's now playing on channel one here. That's uh, and that's called uh, number three ninety two medium drum room. And I want to change that. Now I can't change it here because that's been set inside the program editor. So maybe as a temporary thing, I just want to override this uh, thing. So I'll go to the aux one page and it says override no. Why don't I turn that on? Say yes. And now I can choose a chain. So no matter what the machine was going to do otherwise, I'm going to say the aux one for this machine now is, is uh, according to what I'm doing here now. Here's a plate. And uh, I found this uh, thing here. Smooth plate. That's nice. Gated plate. That's nice. That's good. That's good. Now, uh, the send levels, I also, not only do you want to set the, you want to be able to override everything having to do with the aux bus. And so uh, this, for each channel in the machine, I have an override for the send level and for the pre or post status. First is highlighted now, it says P. And you know what P means? P means there is no override for this parameter. Use the program's setting. If I adjust it, look, now I see 90, minus 96. That's to say off, right? There is no send to the aux bus. And now I can turn it up. And here I'm turning up my gain all the way up to zero. And all of a sudden I have my gain. And even I can put it uh, up to uh, plus 24, although that might clip. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, let's go back to zero. So now I can say. And I can say maybe pre or post insert. I have, again, the P in parentheses means no override. Just use whatever the program says. And uh, post is post, and pre is pre. So these are overrides for all the parameters that you find on the program effects page related to the aux bus. This, this will set it. Uh, so uh, for aux 2, it's the same uh, deal. So there's two aux buses, and they can each have their own effect on them. And so I can override the second aux bus as well. And again, I've put something here called, uh, here's flange taps. Well, I don't hear that because I haven't overridden. I'm going to override the aux send on this one now so I can, now I have flange taps on it. So that's the concept of aux bus override, was I can go right to the effects page, and no matter what's assigned, I can say that these aux chains are going to be there, and that each channel is going to have its own send that I can set. It's like, like a little uh, access to the digital mixer section without having to rely on the, the, the pre-programmed or overriding the pre-programmed things from the, from the, from the uh, programs. So that's aux 1 and aux 2. And then finally, this is an important point uh, to mention that we haven't talked about yet. As much as effects power as we have, the 16 units of effects, there is also one extra 
uh, uh, effects unit that's very powerful that's provided for the entire machine. That's called the master effects. There's a, there's a single chain that you can use here. It's um, EQ and followed by a, a three-band compressor. This is used on your gig to compensate for a certain kind of room EQ characteristics or for your PA system if it needs something or to use a three band compressor on the entire machine for the sake of say it's a live podcast you're doing or something so you have a, uh, an additional EQ and three band compressor on the entire PC3X after everything after your 16 FX units after your aux buses after your dis digital mixers for the entire machine that's what's accessed on the master page